this is the correct vegan escape bake. Just 12 months ago, Greg's gave upon the world the vegan sausage roll. Nothing's been the same really since. 12 months on, we've got another corn transplant on one of their most popular products. And I'm here to walk you through it with my mouth. Now one quick disclaimer before we start. I'm not vegan, but vegan treats aren't necessarily meant for vegans. They're meant for non-vegans to scrutinize. So here we go. Many mornings has my life been saved by a steak bake after a night out. I'm already emotionally invested in the vegan steak bake, or fake bake as I've just started to call it, and I'm not alone. Today, across the country, people have queued up in camping chairs to get their hands on this pastry. Whether you like it or not, a fuss has been created. Is it justified? Let's find out. That can actually be a cup. first appearance, it does look a bit different to the original steak bake. I've always thought with the vegan sausage rolls that they did look a bit paler, like a haunted sausage roll, as opposed to its pork counterpart. But we're missing the egg glaze that makes it typically shiny and a bit darker. Something to take note of. Time for a first bite. Mmm! Everything that made the original good is also good here. The gravy to pastry ratio, the never-ending flake upon my lap. But, as a meat eater, the real question I'm trying to answer is, how does this fake knockoff steak compare to the original? And the answer, this is pretty darn close. Greg's, you've done it again. You haven't reinvented the wheel, but you've made a nice functional replica of a wheel using fermented fungus. Our official verdict, so good it'd make Piers Morgan rage pop a vein. <laughs> 